As a professional, I am demonstrating the Speak Fluent device. In Speak Fluent, first switch on the device. Display will show you the welcome message. Then you have to press the mode. The first mode will appear on the display. The first mode is delay mode where you can see the delay is 1.2 second and by default in correspondence of 1.2 second you can see the fixed MXSR that is maximum speaking rate is 80. Here downside SR is live speaking rate. Live speaking rate in such a way whenever a person speaks in the mic of the headphone he get text his own voice in the headphone and that reflect in the screen of the speak fluent here patient has to read or speak a single word and he again has to hear his word in the headphone then he has to speak the second word in second mode loud plus noise mode here with max fixed delay 0.3 second we have inbuilt the masking noise binaurally patient has to Keep the noise at 6 by pressing this increasing button. He can increase the volume till 6. In this mode, he will feel the environmental situation and he can practice by reading or speaking any story, any words, any sentences here. Here he can practice the words where he face more problem or he stutter more. He can practice those words by stretching the vowels. You can see the battery symbol over here which will show you the battery is full or low or required to charge. In third mode that is masking noise is given binaurally. When person speaks in headphone then this V show you the bars that is a visual unit of loudness level. In fourth mode, this is tone mode or pitch mode where the pitch range is 100 Hz to 14 kHz. It is just giving for the relaxation exercise of the patient. Patient listen the humming sound in the headphone and he can copy that sound accordingly by introducing the breathing exercises in between. So if I talk about the delay mode, Patient has to speak or read a word or a story or any monologue for 15 to 20 minutes by following the delay. If he doesn't follow the delay, then this display will give the blinking indication. For example, right now I am doing how it works. I have to plug in. Here you can see the symbol of headphone and the mic and the charger. So look at the headphone jacks and place accordingly. Mic should go inside the mic. Then patient has to wear the headphone. My name is Sonia Gupta. I am practicing with speak fluent. So when I was practicing you were seeing my speaking rate, live speaking rate there. I was following the delay 1.2 second and my rate was below 80. But right now this mic is picking up my voice because I am not following the delay and my live speaking rate is showing 148 words per minute. So this display is giving the indication by blinking that I have to stop and I have to wear the headphone and follow the delay like I have to speak a word or sentence then that word or sentence will revert back from the headphone that is the feedback delay feedback I have to follow that then only I have to speak the second word or the sentence patient has to practice the reading or the monologue in this delay mode by keeping the delay at 1.2 second at least for 
one week or ten days, then he can decrease this delay till 0.8 second. There you can see in 0.8 second the speaking rate, that is fixed speaking rate, is 100. It means patient has to keep his speaking rate, live speaking rate, below 100. Then gradually he can decrease the delay and synchronously he can see when he when we are decreasing the delay automatically the rate of speech is increasing once the patient is fluent in 1.2 second then gradually we have to keep the speaking rate till 0.1 second that is 180 word per minute where you can see the live speaking rate is 141 as I am speaking normally so my speaking rate is 138 words per minute but the display is not giving any visual indication because it is just below the 180 words per minute if I exceed my limit means if I speak 181 or 182 words then it will start giving visual indication so this is how the patient has to practice in delay mode by following the delayed auditory feedback in second mode, I have to keep the noise level at 6 and I have to practice the words for example papita or papaya I have to speak in a manner papaya patient become automatically louder in third loud mode you can see the volume bar whenever I will speak I can see my loudness here for example patient has to vocalize in this A E U for two minutes and he has to match his loudness level we can use this for open mouth approach A So this is the masking feature as the masking feature automatically create the Lombard effect so uh, patient's loudness become more higher means he become more louder so patient can visually monitor his loudness as well ah, ah. By seeing also, we can monitor our loudness or you can instruct the patient that you can, you have to manage, you have to speak in such a way that volume bar should reach till end and make it stable at least for one minute. In tone mode, patient has to do the humming exercises by introducing the breathing pattern. So this is how these four modes are implemented for improving the fluency. We can use first mode for 15 to 20 minutes. We can use second mode for 5 to 10 minutes. We can use third mode for 2 to 5 minutes. We can use fourth mode for 2 minutes. So whole 30 to 40 minute session can be divided in each segments and within 15 to 20 days with regular use of delayed auditory feedback, masking feature and relaxation exercises around 85 to 90% fluency improve. Thank you.